how to set epoxy RP. I copied the demo login details and logged in with it. Basic setup. Factory setup. Here we create a preferable name for factory. A factory is a place where raw materials are stored and used to produce finished goods. On the column labeled factory name, key in the name you wish to name your factory as shown. Under the column description, key in a brief description for the factory example, full address. If factory is in same location as warehouse and or branch, best to name it with a factory suffix. Example, Paris factory. Click add more button to add as many factories as required. Use the remove button to remove added form row if not needed. Hit the submit button to save. Edit slash delete already saved data, check the box under the action column on the row you wish to make changes to, this activates the update and delete button. Click on the update button to update the row with new information, and delete button to delete the data on the row entirely. Warehouse name setup. Here is a holding area where finished goods are stored before being moved to the branch slash sales point. Same concept of factory setup applies here. Branch name setup. Same concept as above applies. Note. A branch carries more accounting function. Upon creating a branch, three accounts are created automatically by default. Cost of sales, purchases slash inventory and sales slash revenue accounts. Most accounting reports are generated on the branch level e.g. profit and loss, stock level, sales. Supplier setup. Create supplier accounts. Input supplier details and submit. GL setup. Here we set up main general ledger accounts as it should reflect on the statement of financial position or balance sheet, trial balance. By default system has created inventory, fixed asset, accounts receivable, and payables. User should create others. Example, banks, cash, short term liabilities. Input the name under the class name, select normally and input a brief description. Ledger setup. Here we set up sub accounts to be under the main GL account already set up. Expense account setup. Here we set up expense accounts. Input the expense account name in a brief description. Signature prefix, setup name to be attached under the signature box, e.g. issued by, transported by.
upload logo. Select a logo size picture, preferably 200 pixel by 200 pixel, upload and submit. Product name setup. Product category. Here we set up the different categories of the product we deal on. Fill in the category name as shown, under category code, input your preferred code, if none, leave empty by hitting the space bar. Same applies for the description. Submit when done. Add product name. Here we set up the full name of product we deal on as it should appear on the invoice. E.g. brand name, model, description. Choose the category it falls under. Input unit of measurement. Place mouse on the barcode and scan the product barcode if any. In this example, I did not use a barcode. View slash edit product. Here we edit and or delete entries added. View product list is a quick window to view all products. Can be downloaded by clicking the download button. User setup. Set up user who should have access to the system. Create custom user. Here we set up the different modules a user group should have. Example. We want to have a user group named account receivable, whom should have access to customer module only. Input the user group name under the custom name. Under menu item, check the modules this user group should have access to. Submit when done. Repeat to add other user groups. Add user. Here we create individual users that should have access to the system. Fill the form with details of user. Under the user rights, system comes with some default users. Admin. Gives user access to every module. Branch accountant. Gives user branch level access. CEO slash management. Modified for management. Gives user access to all reports. Custom. Here we map the user to the user group created. Factory Management Raw Material Name Here we set up the different types of raw material used in producing finished goods. Input the name of the raw material and its unit of measurement. Submit when done. Add raw material. Here we add raw material slash inventory. Choose factory where raw material will be stocked in. Under other info, input brief details pertaining to the batch of stock being added. Choose the supplier raw material was purchased from. System automatically credits the supplier's account and debits the branch purchases slash inventory account upon submission. Under the add raw materials purchased in this batch. Choose raw material being added, input the number of units purchased, input its purchase cost. On submission, system automatically credits the supplier's account and debits the purchases slash inventory account then generates a goods received. Note.
raised GRN. Same process as add raw material, designed for user with limited information and or user in store who receives the raw materials. Upon submission, number accounting entry will be made until approved by user with access to view and approve raised GRN. Click on the batch name to view details of GRN. Input purchase cost and approve. Upon approval, system makes the necessary accounting entry. View added raw materials. All added slash approved raw materials batch appear here. Admin user has the right to edit slash reverse such entries by clicking the batch name. This launches the edit page or the delete button to reverse the entry. The view can be filtered by date and factory. Choose the parameters required and click view. Click save slash print to save slash print the report. Raw Material Unit Cost A quick report window showing cost analysis of raw material per batch Raw Material Stock Level Window to view raw material stock level Choose Factory Click the Go button to spool the report Report can be saved slash printed by clicking the Save slash Print button or download it to Excel by clicking the Download Report Set limit, tell system the lowest unit of stock should be to trigger a restock notification. Select the factory such limit should be applied to and click go, input the unit and submit. Change tracker. All delete and edit actions are logged for audit purposes. Warehouse menu. Add produced goods. Here we produce finished goods using raw materials and stock. Batch name, input the production batch name. This name will be used to identify the goods produced in this session. Example, if business produced 20 units of product ABC on August 20th, it may decide to give it batch name August 20 underscore ABC underscore 001. If produced in August 21st, batch name would be August 21 underscore ABC underscore 001 in that order. Other info, brief description of the produced batch. Warehouse. Pick warehouse produced goods will be kept, select date. Under add goods slash products manufactured in batch. Select the item produced and the number of units produced. Cost allocation. This is how system determines how to allocate cost to each item produced. Under add all direct cost associated with this batch, we add other direct cost of production. Under credit account, choose the account to be credited for the added cost of production. Under purchase slash inventory, choose the branch purchase slash inventory account to be debited. Input name to be given the cost, input the amount and other brief details. Click add more to add as many of such direct cost as required. Note. This direct cost will be evenly distributed amongst the individual produced goods thereby increasing the cost of the goods produced. Add all raw materials used to manufacture product in this batch. Select factory raw materials used in this production batch is domiciled and click go. Choose the individual raw materials used in the respective units used.
Hit submit after inputting all entries accurately. A production batch sheet document is generated subsequently. This action adds finished goods to the warehouse and reduces the raw materials stock. View slash edit added produced goods. This window gives user room to view all produced batches, reverse added entry by hitting the reverse button and edit the entry by clicking on the batch name. The view can be filtered by date and warehouse. Choose the parameters required and click view. Click save slash print to save slash print the report. Note, reversal sets all stock slash accounting entry back to default. Such entries are logged in the change tracker. Add finished goods. Here goods that did not undergo production process or already made finished goods are added directly to the warehouse. Fill the form with the needed information and submit. A receipt note document will be generated. View slash edit added finished goods. This window gives user room to view all finished goods added in batches, reverse added entry by hitting the reverse button and edit the entry by clicking on the batch name. Warehouse stock level. Window to view stock level. Choose warehouse, click the go button to spool the report. Report can be saved slash printed by clicking the save slash print button or downloaded to Excel by clicking the download report. Branch stock menu. Add goods to branch. Here we send goods to branch. Select warehouse to pick goods from and click go. Fill the form as required. Hit submit button when done. System generates goods delivery note slash waybill document. View slash edit added goods, this window gives user room to view slash edit all added goods, approve entries, decline added entry by hitting the decline button and editing the entry by clicking on the batch name. Note, all added entries must be approved to become available for sales. The view can be filtered by date and branch. Choose the parameters required and click view. Set slash view selling price. Here we set the default selling price per unit for goods in a branch. Choose the branch and click go, input selling price and submit. Stock slash price. A quick report window showing cost analysis of goods per batch. Set limit. Tell system the lowest unit a stock should be to trigger a notification to restock. Select the branch such limit should be applied to and click go, input the unit and submit. About to slash expired goods shows about to and or expired goods if any. Branch stock level. Window to view stock level. Choose branch, click the go button to spool the report. Goods transfer, here we move inventory from one location to the other. Branch dash branch, page to move inventory from one branch to the other. Pick branch to pick inventory from. Click go. Similar concept of adding goods to branch applies. Hit submit button when done. System generates goods delivery note document. 
Note receiving branch will have to approve this transfer bench to be made available on their side for sales. Similar concept applies for warehouse dash factory, RM store dash RM store that is factory to factory. Product dash expense. Here inventory is posted to expense. Could be due to internal consumption, theft, expiration etc. Pick inventory location and fill the form. Note, the purchase slash inventory account will be credited and the expense account debited. Stock adjustment is a journal that handles stock adjustment. Stock can be added and or removed. Select the required details and click go as shown on this video. Transfer Inventory, a report showing all transfer entries. Customer Account Module. Add Customer. Here we set up our customers. Fill the necessary details, choose the branch customer will be attached to. Select the marketer if applicable, click the add button to quickly set up a marketer and submit when done. View customers where we view slash edit saved customer entries. Log payment. Here we post customer payment. Click on deposit to credit customer account and or withdraw to debit customer's account. Fill the necessary information and submit. Statement slash receipt. Here we spool the individual account statement slash ledger of each customer. Pick a customer and or pick a date range and click the view button for system to generate the customer statement. Statement can be printed or saved by click the save slash print button or download it to Excel and other available formats by clicking the download button. Debtors list. A report showing all debtors. Specify the customer and date range to view their individual debtors aging report.
sales log. Here we log sales slash create invoice, cancel sales. Log sale. Choose customer invoice should be raised for. System automatically populates the name on invoice, phone number and other info fields with information maintained upon registering the customer. On the invoice number box, input the invoice number if any, if none, system generates a unique invoice number upon submission. On the amount paid slash account, input the amount customer paid. Upon submitting invoice, system debits the account selected and credits the customer account automatically. Items bought. Select product sold, input the quantity on the number of units field, amount it sells for on amount sold. By default system computes the amount sold by the selling price if set up, user has the flexibility to manually input the selling price. Input the selling price per unit to compute the amount sold. Check that box, if that should be applied to the invoice been raised. Hit submit button when done. System generates invoice. Credits the branch revenue account. Debits the customer's account. Credits branch purchases slash inventory account. Debits branch cost of sale account. Deducts inventory automatically. View slash update sales. Here you can edit the entries initially posted and submit or click the reverse button to reverse slash delete the line item on the invoice. Such edits may be due to returns or wrong posting. System will automatically do the necessary accounting entries for each action taken. Sales report. Here is an invoice by invoice sales report, showing payment status. Report can filter to show per branch and or within a date range. You can also click on the invoice number to generate the invoice doc. Reg slash view referral. This is where we fully set up all sales marketers, as shown when creating a customer. Sales return logs all edited sales entry. View invoice. This is where we call up invoice document. Input the invoice number and click go. Invoice detail. Here we set up the notes to be attached to our invoice, e.g. thanks for your patronage, payment details etc. Set up bank quote. Here we set up organization accounts to show on the quote slash performa invoice.
Raise quote. This is where we raise quote to a customer. Input the necessary details and submit. View quote. Here we view all entries. We can also edit, delete or post quote as sale. Supplier setup. Input supplier details and submit. Log item purchase. Purchases are captured here. Select the supplier, input the item purchased and amount. All purchases can be viewed slash edited slash reversed using the view slash edit item purchase. Pay supplier. Pay to. Debits the supplier's account and credits the corresponding account selected. The reverse is the case for deduct from button. View purchases. Report showing all purchases. Account statement. A report showing supplier statement slash ledger. Specify the supplier to spool their individual statement. Same concept applies for the other creditors. Note that other creditors doesn't hit the purchases account. Financials. Stock ledger. A ledger showing stock movement. Stock position. A report showing stock position as at. VAT setup. Here we set up VAT. Input the VAT percent in account to be credited. Funds transfer. Here we transfer values between two accounts. Click transfer into button on the account to receive value. Check the main account checkbox and select the account value will be moved from, input value and other details and submit. This is a credit slash debit entry. Journal entry. Window to credit and or debit all accounts on the system.
Log Expense. This is where we log expenses. Input a brief description of the expense, amount spent in category. Submit. Expense Statement A comprehensive expenses report can be filtered by different parameters. Posted expense can also be reversed by checking the line item action checkbox and clicking the reverse button. Account Statement – Window to open the ledger for all accounts on the system. Profit slash loss – Generates business profit and loss statement. Trial Balance – Generates Business Trial Balance Balance Sheet – Generates Business Statement of Financial Position Reports module. Revenue report generates the side-by-side -side revenue, cost of sales, gross profit, expenses, net profit and others figures. Two or more revenue report can generate it for a period to help compare performance between different periods. Click on the Add More button to set the different comparison parameters and click View to generate all. Same applies to customer report and referrals, but has the customer and marketer parameter respectively. Check out all the reports. Payroll menu module. Setups. Income. Input income name, income type, income can be fixed or variable. Choose if income is taxable. Relief. Input relief name, relief type. Relief can be fixed or variable. Input relief percentage and choose income relief will be applicable too. Max value. Input the higher value to consider when computing reliefs. Whichever is higher shall be used. If none, input zero. Deductions. Input deduction name, deduction type. Deduction can be fixed or variable. Input deduction percentage and choose income deductions will be applicable too.
payee. Select the ledger payee deductions will report to. As payee is progressive, input in progressive order. Under the description, input the payee step name, rate in percent to be deducted and the value. Click add more to add as many payee steps as required. Employer contribution, input contribution name, contribution type, input contribution percentage, select deduction category that contribution matches and choose income contribution will be applicable to. Employee account name. Here we set up all possible account name employees can have as it relates to payroll. Example, all bank names, pension fund administrator names, tax bodies, mortgage bank names, insurance company names etc. Staff Category. Here we set up different grade levels or steps or cadre of staff. Input the grade level name in a brief description. Staff Category Pay Details. Here we set up payroll components for each staff category. Fill in the required details and submit. Employees. Here we add slash edit all employees. Fill the necessary bio data of employee. Choosing a grade level, the pay details populates. Where necessary, input employee's account details. Submit. Upload employees. For batch upload, build a CSV format as shown in upload details. Employee pay menu. Upload pay details. For batch upload of employee pay, prepare CSV format as shown in upload. Afterwards, Click the validate upload to approve the uploaded batch, edit employee pay. Employees payroll can be called up and edited here. 
Example, change in grade, income or deduction. Employee debt slash loan. Here we issue loans to employees to be paid from their wages within an agreed duration. Choose the employee. The column debit is where we specify which deduction category the value will be charged on. The value is where we specify the figure to be deducted. Repayment spread tells system how many times this deduction should be spread. Example, if an employee takes a loan to be paid in three tranches, the repayment spread will be three payroll cycles. As such when payroll is processed, employee gets an extra deduction of figure divided by three till it offsets the debt. Account. Here we specify which account to be credited example, salary advance. Note, upon submission, the account salary advance, will be credited and employee account debited. Employee statement. An employee ledger. Process salary. Pay employee. Here we process payroll per employee. Pay all employee. Here we process payroll for all registered employees. Processed salary batch, a report for processed salary per batch. Processed payroll can be reversed by clicking the reverse button. Reports. Check out the employee pay slip, general pay slip. General report. A payroll report detailing all payroll components. Report can be filtered to show different types of data based on parameters set. Accounts report. This is where user generates payables report for each ledger attached to a payroll components upon setup. Report shows employee details, value to be paid, institution payable to, example, bank name, tax body name. Pension admin name, account number. Example, if we set up all net pay income to be credited to say net salaries payable account, we select the net salaries payable and batch we want to prepare the report for, system will generate a comprehensive report of payables to each employee. Report can be spooled to Excel or saved as PDF. Check out the payment report too, it is similar to general report. Asset. Here we set up everything relating to fixed assets. Asset category. Create asset categories, aka, asset accounts, input necessary details, submit. Add asset. Input asset name, asset account, purchase amount, date, depreciation value per month, 
Leave at zero at number depreciation and other details. Submit. Asset Register. A comprehensive asset report page. Journal Entry. When assets were added with a purchase amount onto the Add Asset page, no mounting entry was made. To make the necessary accounting entry, credit the cash slash bank or any other account with the purchase value, then debit the corresponding asset account. Account Statement Page for Fixed Asset Account Ledger 